Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I've uh, been crazy busy. Got uh, some new camera equipment coming and a microphone so you guys can hear me a little better. But anyways, I wanted to post a video in response to Eric Cortana's recent videos. It's a two-part series about chasing the lands on your rifle. So, I recently got into reloading, as you can see. I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm no expert at it, but uh, there's one thing I've learned over the years. Just because your pappy's been doing it a certain way for 60 years uh, doesn't always mean it's right. So, um, I've got this rifle here, Ruger Precision Rifle. It's a pretty decent rifle for starters. I've had it four years now, I think. Uh, Gemtech Sandstorm Suppressor, Vortex Viper, Gen 1. Obviously, I got the Radius, which they don't make anymore. Um, I really enjoy it. So, anyways, um, I loaded up some hand loads for this and shot a couple groups. Didn't have real great results, so I started doing a little research on measuring the lands of your rifle. So I was about to go out and spend all this money on one of those dummy cases and then the uh, gauge that tells you exactly where the lands on are in your chamber and whatnot. And did a bunch of research on the YouTubes and um, stumbled across his video. And uh, basically what he suggests you do is you take a dummy cartridge, don't put any powder in it, and stick it in your reloading die. And you have to sacrifice a bullet and whatnot. And uh, run the bullet down and then stick it in the chamber of your rifle. It doesn't matter how far you stick it down. Just, you know, don't run it down too far to where it's going to be too far away from the lands of your rifle. Stick it in your chamber. If the bolt doesn't want to close, go down just a little bit further and then keep sticking it in there. And you can actually put a Sharpie mark on there. That way, if you take the bolt back and it gets stuck in the lands of your rifle, you'll be able to tell. But so his suggestion was to do that and stick it in there, stick the bolt down and then quickly lift it and pull it back and uh that'll actually seat the bullet into the lands of your rifle okay so that is what is referred to as jam meaning the um bullet is literally touching the rifling of your barrel there's some people that actually shoot like this um which can be kind of dangerous i don't recommend you do it um so you take your dummy cartridge and then you take your Hornaday bullet comp operator here and you get a measurement on your bullet. So you might say this is just a comp operator, you know, it's, it's not an actual true measurement. doesn't matter. Just find a place to start as a reference point to where your lands are. Okay, so then you take that number, you move back 20 thousandths of an inch. And then let me show you on the paper here what his suggestion was to do. So if you can read my chicken scratch here, um, this is jam. So this cartridge, this dummy cartridge I loaded up is literally touching the rifling of my barrel. Okay. So I went back 20 thousandths of an inch. So you seat the bullet 20 thousandths back. Here's where you start. And um, you go back 3 thousandths of an inch. Another three thousandths to twenty six thousandths, another three thousandths to twenty nine, and so on. You just keep going back. What I did was I loaded up five cartridges of each for consistency, and then you shoot a group. Okay, so let's so say you start here at twenty thousandths, and you're getting a group like this. Okay, you go back here to twenty three thousandths, you get a group like this. Not so good. You come back here. And then all of a sudden, you shoot a group like this, and then you shoot a group like this, and then it goes back to here, uh, like this. Okay, so not so good, not so good, 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 then it opens back up again. All right, so I hope you're still with me so far. Um, loaded my dummy cartridge into the rifling of my barrel came back 20 thousandths of an inch just as a reference point you know it's not an actual like 
you know, this is exactly 20 thousandths of an inch from my rifle wing. It's just a safe distance to where you can start shooting a group. Okay, so load it up five rounds, see the bullet a little bit further. Uh, at uh, 23 thousandths of an inch away from my original reference point, 26 thousandths, 29 thousandths, 32, and then shot five shot groups of each loading. Let me show you my results. All right, so I wanted to note that I'm using an Atlas bipod, and also I'm using an Atlas monopod. The monopod is great for like shooting competitions and shooting from unconventional shooting positions in a pinch, but not great for shooting a group. I wish I had a bag with me, but unfortunately I didn't. I'm an average shooter at best, so take that for what it's worth. Um, I did this sort of backwards. I started furthest away from the lands and moved closer as my groups went on. Um, to give you a better visual of what I'm talking about here is this is my dummy cartridge that I loaded. Um, this is absolutely jammed into the rifling of the barrel. So this is my reference point. This is zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of here and move the bullet seating depth back into the casing. I wanted to note that I shot this at 450 yards because a lot of hand loads and factory loads will shoot great at 100 yards, but maybe not out to distance. So here's my results. Got one here, here, there, there. Not a great result. So I came over here, shot this pretty good strand across here and you know, I'm thinking maybe the wind's pushing me around. Um, I talked to my spotter and my spotter said, there's really not a whole lot of wind out today. So that's probably not the case. And then I threw one up here and decided to move on to the next seating depth. Okay, so I'm at 29,007 inch. I'm getting closer to the lands of my rifling now. Um, so this is my first shot. And so I looked at my spotting scope and I'm thinking okay now we're finally getting a result and then my next shot was here here over here over here not that great so we're now we're moving closer to 26 thousandths of an inch um I got one here 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 I don't even know where the other ones went um and then moving a little bit closer 23 thousandths of an inch Got a shot here, 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 down here. So at this point, I'm thinking Eric Cortana doesn't know what he's talking about. So I decided to shoot my last five shot group. Well, this is my result. This is by no means a great group at 450 yards. But let's take a look at it here. So that's right at three inches. That is definitely under sub MOA. Um, unfortunately, I didn't let up another five hand loads at a different or closer seating depth to the lands, but I guarantee if I had, I would have shot something like this and then the groups would have started opening up again. So what's the point of all this? So I went from shooting a group like this to all of a sudden shooting a group like this. So you might ask me, where are the lands on my rifle? I don't know, I don't care. Until somebody tells me otherwise, I'm sticking with it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, got some great content coming up, and I'll talk to you guys later.